Hey everybody, it's Brittany with At Home Author, and today we're going to be talking about my absolute favorite tool, Publisher Rocket. Let's dive in. I love Publisher Rocket because it makes putting my book onto KDP and really finding out where it belongs so much simpler. To begin, this is the home screen for Publisher Rocket. On the bottom, you're going to see the version, and here you could click it. It's going to pop up, and you'll be able to make sure that you are up to date and what's been updated with each one. And then at the bottom over here, you have your support, so you can ask them questions as you need. We're going to start with our keyword search. And what are keywords? Well, when you're putting your book into Amazon on KDP, you need to come up with seven keywords or what you think people are going to use to search your book that's relevant so they'll be able to see your book on the list. I'm going to put books about kindness. As some of you know, most of my books have to deal with empathy. So this is something that I search. Okay. Now, notice how nothing is here. Okay. So you have books about kindness, books about kindness for kids, books about kindness for toddlers. Well, my manner series is geared towards toddlers. So I'm going to click the analyze button. Okay. These numbers pop up. So the average number of pages for books with this keyword are 34, which makes sense because it's a picture book. Mine's a picture book, so this works out for me. The number of competitors is greater than 1,200, which means that there's more than 1,200 books that are using this keyword. The average price of these books is around $11. So they're taking all the books with this keyword and giving me an average on the price. Average monthly earnings. So that means that books about kindness for toddlers, that keyword, once it hit into Amazon, the books combined bring in about $5,954 a month. The estimated searches on Amazon. So books about kindness for toddlers is typed in the search bar on Amazon about 698 times a month. Then the competitive score is a 61. So this is what I want to explain. A competitive score goes from zero to 100. And Publisher Rocket recommends that if you're a brand new author, you really want this competitive score to be green. So you want it to be 40 or less. That means you have the most chance to be on that first page of this search. So if somebody puts in books about kindness for toddlers, your book comes up on that first page if the competitive score is about 40 or less. If you're a seasoned author and you have a couple more followings, you have an email list, you're pretty good at marketing now, your ads are up there, they say that you can go from 65 to less. So the yellow, you'll be able to stay in the yellow as long as you have a pretty dis decent following. And if you are an outstanding author, you've been doing this for a while, you have a huge following, you really nailed this whole marketing, your AMS is awesome, which it, it's ads, Amazon ads, you can go from a 95 or less. So it really is deciding on you. If you're just starting out, 40 or less. If you're in the middle, you kind of got the hang of it, you want to give it a try, 65 or less. And if you've been doing this for years, 95 or less. Again, that's the number to get on that first page of searching. So let's try another one. If you click new search, I'm going to put books about manners. I'm going to search it. Books about manners, books about manners for kids, books about manners for preschoolers, books about manners for toddlers. Well, that fits mine, so I'm going to click it. So the average pages is, again, about 28, which is great because, again, it's picture books. More than 1,200 competitors, which means there's more than 1,200 books with this keyword, books about manners for toddlers. The average price is $7. The average monthly earnings for this book is only 1192 So the other one, as we saw, was 5954 for all the books combined. This one's only about 1192 but it still gets 552 searches a month. So 552 times, roughly a month, they are typing in this into the search bar. 
then the competitive score is 53. So like I said, if you're just starting out, you really want to make sure your competitive score is a 45. Let's see if any of these would be a 45. Ooh, let's see if I can see any of these as lower than 45. Ooh, no, they're all pretty high. Okay, so competitive score is all high. Let me see. More info. If you click more info, because you see all of these are really high. So now you're like, oh, no, like I really want to match my keywords that I was thinking, but they're really high. You're going to click that more info button and it's going to lead you to bummer. Looks like you entered a keyword that stumped Amazon and there are no further suggestions. This often happens with multiple keywords or when terms are very specific. If you want Rocket to give it a shot, just click the advanced search button. Otherwise, you can try the keyword using the new search button. Okay. So if you click advanced search, new search is exactly what I did before, where I just clicked new search, it brought up a new tab. I decided I really want these keywords. So I'm going to click advanced search. My little rocket is moving. And what happens is Publisher Rocket is going to take the same words that you used, books about kindness, and they're going to find other keywords that kind of match your same field. They might take out a few words. They might add in some more words, but they're going to really be looking for keywords that go with the words that you searched originally. So let's see. Um, <laughs> so they took out kindness. So notice I told you they go backwards. So they took out kindness and now they're putting in other words. Okay. So see how it's books about, 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 about. Now it's going to keep going and going and going and going and going because there's a lot. Then eventually you're gonna, they're going to take out about and it's just going to be books. See what they do? They go backwards. Okay. So now, okay, that's still not working for me. I'm just going to put in a new search for kindness. And here are a bunch of words with kindness. These are all different searches people have made with the words kindness in it. So I'm going to do a competitive score on just kindness. It is a 95. So combined, these books are bringing in about $5,200 a month, but that score, it's way out of a new author league. That's for, again, an author that has a huge following, knows how to do ads. Okay, let me see. Kindness for kids. 85, another one, that's bringing in almost $7,000 a month, just this keyword, but it's at an 85. Let's try Kindness Hero. This is a 55, so it's going back down again, but you want to check those searches because there's not enough searches for this. <laughs> Let me see, Kindness Book. 41, there it is, there we have it, a kid kindness kids book. So this search has been about searched a thousand times a month, but you have a really high chance of being on that first search page because the number is under 45. So this is the search engine. And when you are finished with your searches, you could press export. Export all means you are going to export every single one of these, even though I didn't click them all, or just export the analyzed. So I would only export the ones that I clicked the little magnifying glass for. So you have two options, export everything you've seen, or just export the ones that you are interested in. Either way, you'll click it, you'll save it to the computer where you would like to save it, and then it is yours. And that, my friends, is keyword search. So now we're gonna look at a competition analyzer, and there's two ways that we can do this start a new search. So before we said books on kindness for toddlers, and you're going to see the 10 books that are the highest for that category. It's going to break it down to the 10 books. The other way you can do this is you can go to keyword search. How before we said books on kindness for toddlers. I'll press analyze. And then afterward, if I liked this keyword, you can click this button and it's going to bring you straight to its competition. So again, these are the top 10 books for this keyword. So you could see it 
if you hover over, you can see their cover nice and close. Then you'll see the title. And if there's a subtitle, as you can see, this one is a subtitle. The type that it was, I clicked book. So it's going to say book, but again, you could do ebook, and soon we might even be able to do Audible. So it all depends. Um, if you want to see the categories that this book is under, press see the categories, and voila, there you will see it. The author's name, the age of the book, so how many days it's been on Amazon. This is the Amazon bestseller rank, where they are, the number of pages of the books, where the keywords in the title. That's what KWT stands for. Are the keywords in the title? No, because it's books on kindness for toddlers. That's my keywords. The price of the book, the daily sales estimated. So this book makes about $243 a day and monthly $5,598. If you press the check it out, you can actually see their Amazon page. It will click and go straight to the Amazon page. The only reason why I'm not doing that is because it's going to lead us off the screen. Then if you want to see all of the categories, so for all 10 of these books, what their categories are under, you're going to press unleash the categories. And there you have it, all 10 of the books and all of the categories that these books are under. You can export the categories to save them for later. And again, you can export your competition data. So if you export it, you can save it to your computer. Let's talk about the category search. So when you click category search. Remember, when you're putting your book into KDP, you only get to put about two categories in, but you can always email Amazon afterwards and add categories. All you have to do, pick the ones that you want. Then when you go to KDP later, shoot them an email, let them know, and you have your new categories. Once I click category search, I can search for categories under both book or ebook. Okay. So since we are children's books. I'm going to start with children's books. Check it out. Look at how many categories are available under the main category of children's books. So many, so many. So how do we choose? Let's say I'm doing books, children's books, action and adventure. So this is Amazon bestseller rank of number one. It takes about 14. So the top of this one is 14. So this category is hold, holding a book that is number 14 overall. Sales to number one. So in this category specifically, you need to sell 932 books a day to get to number one. That's a day. 932 books a day to be this category is number one. Amazon bestseller rank of number 10. This is 133. You need to sell 267 books a day to reach the top 10 in this category. So what's really cool about this too that I love, it has the category page. So if I want to see this category in Amazon and what books are under it, I'm going to check it out. It's going to lead me here. And then you will see bestsellers in children's action and adventure books. So the number one is How to Catch a Turkey, probably because Thanksgiving just happened. Then How to Catch a Dinosaur. So now let's go back. That was overwhelming. Oh my gosh, 267 books a day. How am I supposed to go through all these categories? Well, I will show you. Sales to number one. I want to get that number one bestseller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click these arrows. Okay, this just put them all in order from highest to least. So for this one, books, children's books, activities, crafts and games, crafts and hobbies, paper crafts, I need to sell 2,250 books a day to become number one. No. So I'm going to switch it. Books, children's books, growing effects of life, difficult discussions, illness. I only need to sell three a day for this category to be best selling. But... Again, my books on kindness, toddlers, this has nothing to do with me. So what am I going to do? I'm going to search categories, make this easier for myself, and go toddlers. Nothing in children's books has just toddlers in it. What about toddler? No, nothing. What about if I was doing an animal? Okay, you could see animals, dogs, 
bestseller rank, you need 396 books to sell a day to be number one and 10 to be in the top 10, you need 95 a day. Pretty neat, great tool to use when you're trying to figure out what categories to choose for KDP. And finally, we have AMS keyword search. The name is now Amazon Advertising, but we also call it AMS. So AMS keyword search, let's click it. Sticking with my theme, I'm going to put in my keyword as kindness. So these are Amazon suggestions of other keywords that kind of match the one that I searched that other people have searched as well. So ABCs of kindness, body kindness, each kindness, kindness books for kids. These are all Amazon suggestions that match the keyword that I put in. So you can export it, save all as is, or you can filter. Okay, everybody, and that was all about Publisher Rocket. If you would like to go ahead and get yourself this amazing tool, go ahead and click that link in our description, and it will lead you right to it. Don't forget to like or subscribe and follow along with questions about your publishing journey.